Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Yeah. I used to rap with Nissa, so I know the game. Man, it's crazy. I'm glad you said that, cause I. I know Nussie, like, like, it's like a touchy subject for you in a sense. Yeah. Like, who was Nussie to you? I like Nussie personally. Yeah, he was like a brother to me. <clears throat> a big homie, but a brother, like, he took me under his wing, like, you know, uh, and showed me a lot. He showed me a lot about the streets. He showed me a lot about how niggas is, fugaziness, and how to build a family and have trusted people and being loyal. See, that's the key. A lot of people not loyal. You know what I'm saying? You can say 10,000 right on side of me and leave and come back and still gonna be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Lord to go a long way. Because you can be, it's a difference in saying you love and showing that you love you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I give you one, one, one thing. So a lot of people may not agree with it. <clears throat> All right, we didn't met, we did business. And let's say I know a chick that you was with. Yeah. Even though we not the best of friends, and y'all break up, I'm still not going to even entertain her. That's a sign of loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Or you can't talk to me about one of my friends. Even if you are right. Man, I don't want to talk about that. That ain't none of my business. That's a sign of loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people don't have that. Right. You know? And I'm one of those. This was one of those. You know, you can't tell him nothing about nobody. And he had his relationships with everybody around him, his personal relationships with him, with them people, you know? But as far as learning from him, like marketing, I know how to market my music. Yes. The only fans. A lot of people scared to do the things that I do. You know, I'm seeing all an old lady, I can do what I want. And when I meet another chick, I can still tell her, I fucked what's up last night. You either gonna accept it or you not. You know what I'm saying? You either gonna still fuck me or you not. I don't hold my tongue. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that. You know, because I'm like that. Shit. Straight yeah. up? Don't ask me no questions you don't wanna know. Straight up. You know? I wanna ask you this question, bro. How do you feel about rats? Man, being a person that's been ratted on, I hate them. I think they should die. You heard the song, Man Trick, got all rats must die? Oh, yeah. It ain't out. Me and him recorded it. Every now and then, I put a verse on on Instagram. But I always was that. One a nigga in Baton Rouge tried to label me, say I had set him up a few years ago, but I didn't. And come to find out, he was the biggest rat in the city. Wow. Yeah. And he know you did. He just put your name out there. Yeah. I, and, and it kind of, I feel like he was trying to set me up. I think he did, to be honest, when I was in jail, you know. But I don't really have a lot to say about it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it's so many obstacles with that shit. Like, I don't have no facts. I got facts on this dude, though. You know what I'm saying? I got facts on him. But. Man, you can't really believe everything you hear about a person until you see it in black and white. You're right. You're you know right. And the reason why I was saying that because the music entertainment industry is separate from the streets. Right, 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 right. Now, everybody know, I don't really want to bring them up, but I'm going to say it's relevant. Everybody know about the 6 9 stuff yeah. and the Papa Hunter stuff, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But they are still having successful careers. Yeah. But they are, they are really FBI informants. Well, I can't say nothing about Papa Hunter because he was a young guy. Uh -huh. I know you heard about this. I don't this know him. But basically, he was 14 years old. He witnessed a murder. Him and his mom uh -huh. witnessed a murder. And his mom told him to go tell who did it. Mm -hmm. And when the streets got wind of it, they tried to cancel his career. Yeah. But the guy was 13, 14 years old. Yeah. And his mama told yeah. him. And he hey, wasn't in the streets when he, he was 13 or 14. He was in the streets. <coughs> But a lot of people they counsel him. A lot yeah. of people say he should have known that. I'm like, how? Like, right. You know what right. I'm saying? A lot of different people spoke out on it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I ain't really. I don't really know much about that. Uh, yeah. But as far as six nine, he a clown. That's like part of his character. You know, uh, doing stupid shit to gain. So it's like, let's just say this. When you expect somebody to do something. 
you can't be mad at them. But when somebody do something that you don't expect that from, you be mad at them. Like for instance, I expect you to be a cameraman. Yes, sir. I don't expect you to be, uh, let's just say, a massage therapist. Or so on. Uh, my homeboy, I expect him to to go to work. You know, but if he get caught selling drugs, I'm gonna be mad at you. You gotta go to work. You've been working all these years. This been working for you. Why are you selling drugs? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, pop. I mean, uh, six nine. You expect him to do dumb shit, including rent. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's part of his character. You know, that's part of his demeanor. A motherfucker that dyed their hair all them colors. I expect him to get fucked by a punk or to fuck with a punk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If that came out. If somebody said, oh, 6 9 fuck with a punk. Okay, it's believable. You know what I'm saying? But 6 9 killed the nigga. You don't expect no nigga like that to go kill nobody. He's just all talk. You know what I'm saying? But it got its elements to it. You know what I'm saying? It got its elements to it. That was tough, man. That's what's up. So, all right. Demon Time is out. Yeah, on still, all platforms. All platforms. You're still doing your thing. Like, what, what are we looking forward to, man? We're still in the first quarter. Yeah. We're almost in the first quarter of yeah. 2021. Man, I'm going to keep it G. Demon Time trending right now. Uh, not just saying my album trending. The turn is trending. Out here in Houston at the clubs, when you bring out bottles, they bring out signs that say Demon Time. I went to like three clubs when they do this. That was confirmation that it's gonna catch. I just gotta keep applying pressure with that song. You know what I'm saying? Even though I dropped a uh, 17 song album, yeah. uh, the album gonna catch. Most of the song I'm saying something about Demon Time in the intro. You know, uh, because.